absolutely. Absolutely. So, a um, couple of important notes first. Uh, if you're not on our mailing list, please do sign up uh, so we uh, can get you on our mailing list. We don't send out a lot of emails. As a matter of fact, my newsletter is a little bit late this month. Um, there's a tip jar. We do need to pay for the room, so put some things in. Uh, not a tip jar. Sorry, Mikey. It is a uh, donation jar. Donation so jar. Teapot, tea <laughs> yes, which is a very new this month. So please uh, contribute to the uh, cost of the room. And also, we love our waitress here. We love this coming to this place, so take care of our waitress well. Um, we, we, this is a very, very informal meeting, so mostly socializing. Uh, we're going to hear from a couple of people to get their take on the uh, elections. And uh, first up, we'll have Brad Mars speaking. Uh, former state rep candidate, very involved in Republican politics for just about forever in the Boston area. And he's got some unique perspectives and some behind the scenes information, probably. Uh, be interesting to hear from Brad. So, without further ado, awesome. Brad Marston. For the three people in the room who don't know me, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm principal and uh, uh, chief digital strategist for a uh, Republican conservative uh, political consulting firm called Four Tier Strategies. Uh, I was having a conversation beginning of this cycle uh, with the campaign manager for a uh, Republican candidate in Florida uh, about building their website for them and she said, do you only work with Repu uh, conservatives? And I said, no, we'll work with Republicans as well. <laughs> uh, so. Um, interesting question uh, that was posed about this meeting and, and what we were to talk, Mike and I had to talk about is you know sort of what worked, what didn't, um, and uh, and I and I have to give Mike uh, cred on this one because uh, Patrick printed the uh, precinct national precinct map and it was all red except along the edges in a few places in Colorado. And Mike had the great comment and said, this is why Barack Obama wanted to stop the oceans from rising. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with what will probably be a 54-46 Senate, um, arguably a, a 249 uh, uh, Republicans in the House, which will be the most since the 1920s. Uh, three pickups uh, in governors, where we will will hold the governorship 31 to 17. There, I guess there are a couple of undecideds, um, including, I mean, in Massachusetts, in Maryland. And while it wasn't a pickup, the fact that we were able to hold um, Illinois. Uh, which is as blue as Maryland and Massachusetts. Uh, no, no, Maine, Illinois was a pickup. Maine was the hold. Okay. Because uh, Pat Quinn lost. Right, right. Okay. He so was a dam. And LePage. Uh, state legislatures Elba. we hold, now we'll hold um, <coughs> 69 of 99 uh, state legislatures, and in 31 of 50 states we will hold both houses. So the question of what worked, the answer is everything. Um, now, why did it work? Um, one of the things I talk about and, and sort of behind, the reason four tier is called four tier is I'm a big believer in the four M's of politics. Winning campaigns come down to message, momentum, manpower, and money. Uh, in this case, it was the four D's. It was dollars, discipline, data, and doors. Uh, <coughs> the RNC outraised the DNC about $35 million. Uh, the Democratic Senate campaign and Democratic Congressional campaign committees outraised us um, <coughs> between 35 and $40 million. The question is, what did we spend the money on? And I think it was two CPACs ago, uh, there was a, a panel discussion, should we kill all the consultants? 
Um, now, I went, <laughs> yes, okay, well, now, I went, just in case it came up for a vote, uh, but it was, it was really talking about the big consultants, the Carl Rose, the targeted victories, the, you know, those kind of people. Um, that the makers of Orca spend exactly that spend you know the candidates spend millions of dollars on it. and Pat Cadell, Democratic pollster, was one of the panelists and he said, folks, you don't get it. On our side, we work and run to win. What you guys do, your consultants do is work to make sure you get hired the next election cycle. So when the choice is between spending $100 million on grassroots or $100 million in advertising, the Republican consultants say, hey, let's buy $100 million worth of television advertising. Why? Because they get paid a 15% commission on that $100 million. They don't get paid to build the grassroots. <coughs> But luckily in 2012, we got our asses kicked badly enough that Rents Priebus sobered up enough to <laughs> realize, hey, we may have to do something differently. So we did spend that $100 million. What did we spend it on? Data. And I can't overemphasize the importance of that spend. Okay, look at a state like Massachusetts, where you have 11% registered Republicans, 52% registered Independents, and 38% um, registered Democrats. I'm assuming there are a few Independents in this room, correct? Mm. All right? I mean, I, when I ran in 2010, I found out that Independents in my district are independents because the Democratic Party is just too damn conservative for it. <laughs> All right? And I would suggest that there are people in this room who are independents because the Republican Party is too liberal for them. Mm -hmm. So, but you're going to generally, if you vote, you're going to vote Republican. So, I mean, my business partner, John LaBrosa, perfect example. More conservative than I am when it comes to social issues, about the same on small government, fiscal, etc. But I show up, and, and, and here's, I mean, thank you, Mass Victory, thank you, Charlie Baker, thank you, Mass GOP. I did not get a single piece of mail or a single phone call asking me for my vote. Neither Why? did I. Because I am a perfect GOP voter and they knew they didn't have to spend that dollar and they spent it other places. Uh, discipline. Candidates. Okay? Probably the two biggest were replacing Ken Buck in Colorado with Cory Gardner. And the other one was and I I don't like the way they did it, but making sure that Chris McDaniel lost the primary um, to Thad Cock. You know, we didn't end up with Todd Akins, Richard Murdoch's, Christy, Christine O'Donnell, uh, etc. Um, and you can argue against the model, that, that RNC model, except the RNC exists for one reason and one reason only. And what is that? Raising money and winning elections. And if they said, I mean, I get hired by people to win elections. Um, and I will do virtually anything to make sure that that money is well spent. Um, we have turned down plenty of people who said, well, I'm really to the left of so-and-so. And it's like, well, then you are also left out of our being involved in your campaign. Um, the other message, the other discipl discipline when it came was, was message. When people said, well, I want to talk about this, and I want to talk about this, and I want to talk about this. And, and the, NRC, the NRCC and the uh, NSRC said, that's great, except never do it. It's Obama, Obama, Obama. 
And if you ever have a question and you're not sure about what to talk about, it's Obama. Okay? Discipline matters in campaigns. I mean, great story about the fact that they flew a bunch of Republican Senate candidates into D.C. and they were all at the luggage um, carousel and they got bombarded by uh, reporters ask, throwing questions at them. Except they weren't really reporters. They were <coughs> Republican staffers pretending to be reporters. Which is a little different than an FBI agent pretending to be a reporter. But, <laughs> but it, it, it was sort of a live fire training exercise. Um, data, type, quality. Uh, had a great conversation. I'm chairman of my local ward, and welcome to my local ward, which is Back Bay, Beacon Hill, and a little part of South End. And I ran, as Patrick mentioned, I ran for state rep in 2010. Made thousands of phone calls, made tens of thousands of door drives. And on the phone calls, eh, maybe it was a 60-40, 70-30, if it was a right number. How many times did I go to drop lit and the name on the door and the name on the buzzer didn't match what, um, what I had on my list? Well, in this race, <laughs> very cute story. I was out <laughs> collecting signatures uh, and uh, I walked around Pinckney Street onto uh, Lewisburg Square as Senator Kerry was walking down the steps. And uh, I went up to him and I said, Senator Kerry, I'm collecting signatures to get on the ballot to run for state rep. And he kind of looked at me, and, and it was a long-term incumbent, he kind of looked at me and he kind of went like this and started to reach for it. And I pulled it back and I said, oh, that's right, you're a Democrat, it wouldn't count. Um, <laughs> to his credit, I think it was a laugh. Um, it's, hard, it's hard to know with John. Um, but I personally made 600 phone calls um, into the ward and maybe got 10 wrong numbers. On election day, I was up at 4.30 in the morning, I was at the door at 5.15, and lit dropped 250 doors um, for with the get out the note, uh, get out the vote uh, flyers. Of those 250 doors, <clears throat> four names didn't match the buzzer or the door. And I, I actually talked to uh, a guy from Mass Victor, the head of data, and he says, you know, Secretary of State doesn't really care if the name matches the phone number. State parties, okay, they're supposed to care. And I said, what was the difference? And she said, credit card companies, because they care that they have the right phone number and the right address. We bought credit card company data to overlap our voter files. So the quality of the data was huge. When my firm advised uh, a guy who was running for uh, attorney general in Rhode Island. And we determined that if a woman had bought a Playtex bra in the last 12 months, her propensity to vote for our candidate was 80%. Okay? Um, now, <laughs> why? Because Rhode Island voters skew, females skew older and more conservative. And what women are buying Playtex bras? Older <laughs> women. Okay? But that's what data but that's what data can do for you. Okay? That's what consumer commercial data when overlapped onto a voter file can do. Um, 